I think I need a little a little hamster. <laughs> She's what? lost her train of thought. <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say. I'm just realizing that I'm failing at saying it. Okay, hit me, producer pots. Okay, I know that you put this into your coffee every morning, but I see all of these advertisements for all these fancy mushroom coffees. And are they truly all they shroom up to be? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, so totally mushrooms are a really phenomenal healthy food. Um, I like putting mushroom extracts into my coffee because it, it to me, like I like bitter coffee. I don't put any kind of, I mean, if you like sugar in your coffee too, you could still do this. Um, but I like the earthy bitterness of coffee and the earthy bitterness of mushroom extracts just kind of blends in. So for me, it's a convenience thing because I'm not going to enjoy adding mushroom extracts to something else that I might consume in the day. But also mushroom extracts are a completely optional thing. If we don't want to get into the fancy mushroom coffee, if we just like our coffee the way we like it, if we don't want to get on that, like... Can I just like add in some of the plain white button mushrooms I can find at the grocery store? Like, is that good enough? Or what's the deal with these mushroom coffees? Yeah, let's back up and just talk about why mushrooms are good. Maybe that's where we should start this. <laughs> so mushrooms are really cool. They're culinarily and nutritionally classified as vegetables, but unlike all other vegetables, they're fungi, right? They they're not plants. They come from a completely different kingdom of life and Part of the consequences of that, because they're a very, very different form of life, they have some nutritional structures, some molecular structures that are unique. We can't get those from plant foods. So one of the things that mushrooms have that are really, really special is a couple of classes of fiber that how, don't have a lot of other, other places we can get them. So chitin and chitosan fiber in particular the only other food sources of those types of fiber are like insect exoskeletons. So if you like crickets or uh, sh the shells of shellfish. So if no. you like soft shell crab, <laughs> soft shell crabs may be a little bit of an easier one. Um, so uh, the only other places we're getting those fiber are less, much less accessible foods than mushrooms. Um, they also have some beta glucans, uh, which is the same type of fiber that like oats and barley have that help to reduce cholesterol. So uh, some really cool fiber types. Um, they also have a class of phytonutrients called triterpenes, which are very beneficial, although there's like 30,000 triterpenes and maybe like 50 of them have been well studied. So there's a lot more we don't know about this class of phytonutrients than we do know, but the ones that have been well studied they tend to be really great anti-inflammatories and that's reflected in a lot of the research looking at medicinal mushroom extracts. They tend to be really great at helping the immune system work better, basically. So not just reducing inflammation, but uh, con context dependent benefiting the immune system. So, um, and that's likely uh, the combination of the fiber and um, the types of phytonutrients like triterpenes. Mushrooms are also just crazy nutrient dense. They have lots of vitamins, lots of minerals, not very much calories. But then the coolest thing that mushrooms have, like all of that is super cool. And that's not even the coolest thing that mushrooms have. The coolest thing that mushrooms have is an amino acid called ergothionine. So this is not one of the 20 amino acids that our bodies use to make proteins, but there's like hundreds of these other amino acids that we still have in our bodies and we still our bodies still do stuff with them, uh, except they don't make proteins. And ergothionine is one of them. Uh, ergothionine has been shown to lengthen lifespan, but also lengthen healthy years. So it reduces risk of all of the diseases associated with aging, so much so that it has been nicknamed the longevity vitamin, even though it's not a vitamin at all, it's an amino acid. Uh, so it's this incredibly beneficial amino acid and there have been studies that show that people whose traditional diets include a lot more mushrooms, so they're getting a lot more ergothionine, uh, also on average have longer lifespans and healthier later years. 
So we see this in a lot of different science and it's probably because of ergothionine is a really strong antioxidant. So antioxidants in general tend to balance out a lot of the uh, processes that are associated with aging. So antioxidants in general are really good. Um, but the cool thing about an antioxidant amino acid is that that can get into places in our bodies that other types of amino acids can't, right? That's also why it's good to have uh, like vitamin C and polyphenols that are water soluble antioxidants, but also vitamin E, which is a fat soluble antioxidant. So the more different places we can get antioxidants, the more we can benefit from them. So mushrooms have so many things that are really, really beneficial for our health. And all mushrooms have those things to different, right? Different levels for sure. But you can get ergothionine and chitin and chitosan and beta-glucan fiber types and cool polyphenols and triterpenes and lots of vitamins and minerals from your regular old white mushrooms in the store or frozen mushrooms or canned mushrooms. And you can get it from the fancy like trumpet mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms from the fancy grocery store. Um, I find them from the mushrooms that I forage on my morning hikes. Um, so you can get them from all types of mushrooms. So if you like whatever mushrooms you like, whatever mushrooms, uh, mushroom dishes, right? Whatever mushrooms that go into that, that's fantastic. One of the things that I like about mushroom extracts, they're not all created equal. Not all of them are good quality, but a good quality mushroom extract has all of those nutrients in the extract. So, um, so you're getting all of those cool, the fiber types, the triterpenes, the ergothionine, um, and what's cool is a lot of the mushrooms that are typically used for mushroom extracts, like reishi, are really concentrated sources of those nutrients. So a small amount of powder gives you the same amount of nutrients as maybe like a whole serving. I think it's like one teaspoon of powder is the same to a, a one cup serving of fresh, if I remember correctly. That's worth double checking. Cool. Hold please while I double check that. I'm glad I looked it up because it's one tablespoon of like a, a mushroom powder and an extract that is equivalent to one cup fresh. But you could still get to three servings of, of mushrooms per week, which is where most of the science shows we're getting uh, all of the amazing benefits of mushrooms with like a teaspoon per day in your coffee, if that's what you like. That's about what I do, but I also eat a lot of mushrooms on top of that because um, mushrooms are delicious and also super, super good for you. Awesome. I love that. So can you tell everyone where they can learn more about mushrooms and maybe like take a deep dive into mushrooms if they are interested in doing that? I have, uh, I have an entire section in my book on ergothionine. Um, but mushrooms are also one of the Nutribor foundational foods. So I talk about uh, ergothionine and actually longevity. So so how ergothionine is helping us to live longer, healthier. Um, but mushrooms is one of the Nutribor foundational foods. There's 12 foundational food families. This doesn't mean that they're foods that you have to eat um, I basically call a food, a foundational food, if it has something unique to offer us nutritionally, which mushrooms clearly do. I've just rattled on about that for uh, a <laughs> surprisingly long time. So mushrooms have lots of cool stuff um, to offer us nutritionally that are really hard to get from other foods. So it's a really good example to introduce the concept of a Nutribor foundational food. But not only is there like a whole section on ergothionine, a whole section on fiber, um, all of the Nutrivor foundational foods get their own breakdown of the science showing how many servings is optimal either per day or per week, depending on the food in chapter nine in my new book. So I would say this is a, a great place to start to learn more about why mushrooms are amazing. I wanted a mushroom pun, but uh, I was going to be I like, mushrooms it. are um, um, a mushing, a mush, um, <laughs> mushrooms are you can just say they're all they shroom up to be. They're all yeah. they shroom up to me. Shroom hey, can I tell can I tell you a joke? Yes. <laughs> um, so uh I've got I've got I've got this friend friend mushroom and he gets invited to all the parties. And I just don't, I don't. It's because I'm just not as much of a fun guy. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Sarah. <laughs>